something where I wanted to get back to the sport of bodybuilding, health, and fitness. Okay, guys. I want to introduce you to shoulder training here, pre-contest shoulder training. When I start shoulder training, pre-contest, off-season, what I think is really important is to warm up the shoulders, of course. We're going to go through different variations of shoulder presses. Uh, first variation, I don't know if you ever did them, was the, is the Arnold press. We're going to grab the dumbbells, just like you're doing a curl. Now with this movement, what you want to do is when you're coming up in the movement, you're actually turning and actually having your thumbs face down. It's not coming straight up like this, which works more in the frontal delt. What we want to do is we want to emphasize working both the side and the front delt at the same time. So as you come up, a little less on that, right over your head. It's going to be right over your head. Right there is good. Now come down. You can come up. Come down. What this is working, it's, I mean, it was made famous, they called the Arnold Press, Arnold Schwarzenegger made this ma uh, movement famous, because what it's doing, it's working actually all three heads of the delt at the same time. A little less emphasis on the circle, you're going to come straight up. A little bit more, a little bit right, right there. And what he's doing, he's actually throwing his head forward. You want to throw your head forward slightly when you're doing it. Now we're going to keep to the side. This is a shoulder press, and what I do differently is a lot of guys just come straight up and doing a movement. Again, with this, we want to keep constant tension on the front and side. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up, throw the head forward, thumbs down. Okay, go up, just like that. Now what he's doing, as you can see, he's putting constant tension on the delts. That's it. Good. Good. Keep going. That's it. Up. Okay, down. Okay, stop. Another good variation, we're gonna do alternate press. Now what this is doing, it's a lot of unilateral movements, what they're called, it emphasizes, instead of doing both at the same time, you can actually focus on one shoulder at a time. So what I like doing is I like doing uh, alternate press where you're actually coming up, squeezing, and as this one's going down, the other one's going up. Let's do the same thing. I should have gave this guy the heavier dumbbell. <laughs> Let's go. What we're doing here is, like I said, we're keeping tension on the delt, and as one goes up, the other one goes down. And a lot of times, people have difficulties, and a lot of times in bodybuilding, they don't have symmetry because uh, either one arm or one shoulder is actually slightly bigger than the other. When you're doing a unilateral movement, you can actually focus on one and then the other shoulder as well. Since you got big shoulders, I want you to demonstrate a really tough exercise, and that's going to be the side laterals with a drop set. Would you want to do that? Okay. Side laterals is a movement that's done improperly. Uh, by most people in the gym. First off, you can put them down for now. When you're doing this movement, what people do is they tend to come up and cheat and they, and they actually bring their elbows down and their forearms up. What you want to do is when we're doing this movement, it's basically coming up, elbows up, thumbs facing down and squeezing at the top the whole time. And what you're doing is it's focusing right on the side delt head. Gravity's up and down, so as you're coming up, you want to make sure that your delts are up and down the whole time, the side delt. Let's warm up with these 30s. Same thing, you want to come straight up. That's it, right there. Tension on the side delt. You can see him move it, doing the movement. He's keeping his elbows up. His thumbs are slightly facing down the whole time. That's it. Good. Keep going. Good. Good. That's it. A couple more. Okay, bring it down. Are you warmed up? Good. Okay. What kind of weight do you use on side laterals? Can you use 45s? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do a really advanced side lateral movement that I use for pre-competition. It's actually drop sets, and at the end we're going to do what's called crosses. Uh, basically, we're going to go down, down the weight, 10 pounds, and we want to hit the fibers uh, deeper and deeper and deeper. So we're going to start with a good weight that, that what was your name again? Will. Will. Will normally uses a weight like 45, and we're going to drop all the way down to like 10 pounds, which, which, which to him is usually like nothing. But I'm going to make it feel like it weighs a ton. We're going to do 10 reps. Okay, 10 reps, nice and strict. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Bring him straight up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop it. 35s. Same thing, elbows up the whole time. One, 
two, three, keep going, four, five, six, come on, seven, eight, a little higher, nine, okay, down, third down, 25s, 25s, okay, let's do it, squeeze it, one, elbows, two, come on, up, three, starting out, four, five, I can help a little bit, six, come on, seven, okay, eight, drop them, 15s, you got it, you got it, well, let's do it, squeeze them out, Delts are burning, one, bring them out, two, come on, 15 pounds, three, come on, four, hold it up, five, six, seven, eight, drop them. Okay, next set, you're gonna grab the tens, come on, it's a lightweight, these are crosses. He's gonna hold them out to the side for five seconds. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, a little bit drop, nope, nope, bring it back up, one, two, three, bring him down, 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 bring it back up, one, two, three, four, five, one more, one more, this is it, this is it, one, two, I'm gonna let it go, see if you can hold it on your own, that's it, bring it down. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good. Who do we got also to volunteer? Uh, how about you? <laughs> you want to come in here? Okay. It's an easier movement. A good movement that I that I that I like to finish off with after doing like a side lateral movement. They're called steering wheels, and actually, you say there's always you know an old dog can learn new tricks. This is something I learned actually from Flex Lewis. Um, it's a great movement because it actually works the frontal de delts and also the side. Coming up in this movement, you're coming up like you're steering. That's two. I normally do 50 to 60 reps of this. Just doing it this way. Steer. Steer. Okay, we're gonna have you do it. Same thing, you're coming straight up, and as you come up, you're gonna turn. One. Straight up. Two. A little higher. Three, right there. That's it. Four. That's it, come on. Five. Keep going. We're gonna do rear delts now. Okay, we're gonna demonstrate two different ways to work in the rear delts. A bent lateral is grabbing two dumbbells. You're gonna come up, and as you come up, the same thing on lateral movements, you wanna come up and you wanna pour or, or bring the thumbs down the whole time. What he's doing, he's working the rear delt, he's bent over. If he needs to kick the weight up a little bit, he can jerk the weight up a little bit. But what you wanna make sure you're doing is you're actually still pouring or turning the thumbs down, that's it. Puts the thumbs down and emphasizes more on the rear delt. Good job. Now you're going to go on this bench, and we're going to do actually isolation rear delts. We use an incline bench. You're going to grab the dumbbells. Okay, you're going to move up a little bit forward. What you want to do in this movement, it's a lot more isolation with the incline bench. You're going to come straight up again. Now you want to make sure that when you're doing this movement, also you're bringing the weights forward, and you're emphasizing thumbs down, forearms, that's it, thumbs down, elbows up, whole time. Doing that movement, it's working right here on the rear delt. You wanna uh, finish off shoulders, you wanna finish off with traps. So we're gonna do a shrug movement. Now shrugs are different. Are done different ways. Uh, I like using dumbbells. Again, we can use uh, dumbbells. And in doing this movement, you can do these uh, as drop sets as well. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it this time, but actually you can go up and wait. And I actually done drop sets going reverse drop sets, which you grab like lighter weight, and then go say 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, go all the way up to as heavy as you can go, and then go back down. So you get back to like 10 or 15 pounds. You can do just one set of those. So when you're doing a shrug movement, you wanna make sure that you're coming up, squeezing at the top, and bringing the weight down. Squeezing at the top, and a big, a big problem with many people is they do this movement, and they shrug the weight like this, and actually what, when I did this, I actually herniated a disc in my neck and it put me into retirement. So it's not a good thing to do <laughs> from experience. Um, you wanna demonstrate for me? Same thing, you're gonna come up as, as, and squeeze at the top. See, with dumbbells, you're, you're, you got a lot more free movement compared to a bar from the front. So you can actually come up and squeeze as high as you can and contract the traps. Good. Good. That's it. 
Good. So that's the shoulder segment. Uh, is there any questions anyone has on shoulders? Yes. Rich, when you were uh, competing, what was your number one shoulder exercise? My number one shoulder exercise, believe it or not, were still the side laterals. I felt that side laterals were one of the most important movements done properly. Uh, it's all an illusion, bodybuilding is all an illusion. And what happens is, is most people concentrate on the pressing movements. What happens is, is you just build up the front delts, which, which is okay to do, but when you look at someone on stage, you wanna see someone really wide. And, and the guy that I looked up at when I was competing as a kid was a guy named Larry Scott, who was the first Mr. Olympia. There's a guy who was a very narrow clavicle, and what he had to do is put muscle on his delts to give that illusion of looking wider. Uh, I read all his courses, and the thing that he believed in was drop sets. Uh, he had something called burns, which I just demonstrated with his crosses. And he did that to really, really hit the fibers really, really deep and develop those side delts. So if you're training on shoulders, one thing you want to emphasize is to make yourself look wide on stage is develop the side lateral heads. And anything to know is you want to build side delts. The bigger your side delts, the more evolution of looking wider on stage when you're competing in bodybuilding. Or if you just want to look bigger, by developing those side delts, you're going to look much bigger and wider. The second Dragon's Den here in Franklin, Tennessee was a huge success. I got to get involved and went into shoulder training, teaching some of my old school techniques to some of these young lions. I really beat them up on shoulders, doing drop sets, crossovers. Uh, I just killed it. Dragon's Den, Tennessee, great success. What can I say? This is Rich Gaspari and check out GasparriNutrition.tv and I'll see you next time.